President Vladimir Putin spoke with Xin Hai Xiong, president of China Media Group, a newly inaugurated broadcasting platform that includes CGTN. Putin explained Moscow's position on the Korean Peninsula diplomacy. On the DPRK issue, as our diplomats had said, our position on both sides is very close or completely consistent. It is the latter, to be exactly. We have put forward a roadmap to resolve the Korean Peninsula issue. The People's Republic of China has done a lot of work recently to ease regional tensions. We're pleased to see this and will be fully supported. As you know, the Russian foreign minister is visiting Pyongyang and holding talks with DPRK leaders. We can also see that the DPRK leadership have made unprecedented efforts to ease tensions which honestly surprised me. On one hand, they announced the suspension of missile tests and nuclear tests. Furthermore, they have dismantled one of the biggest nuclear sites. These are no doubt important steps to our final goal of denuclearization. When DPRK leaders said they need an absolute security guarantee to reach the goal of denuclearization, I can understand. Is there any way else? Otherwise, we cannot imagine the consequences, especially after the tragedies in Libya and Iraq. All this has been visible before the DPRK's eyes. So it is self-evident that they want the guarantee. As for the content of the guarantee and the time limit to carry it out, it is still hard to say. But what we can say and what we should say is that we need to take the road of easing the situation to achieve denuclearization. It is regretful that our Western companions and regrettably South Korea have not stopped drills and military actions, which go against easing the pressure. It is a wise and mature decision by U.S. President Donald Trump to have direct contacts with DPRK leader Kim Jong-un. Anyway, I hope the planned summit can be held and we're looking forward to a positive outcome of the summit. I just mentioned the roadmap by China and Russia to resolve the DPRK issue, and the next step is to deepen relations among those countries who helped ease the Korean Peninsula situation. The next step is that all countries who are interested, especially those in this region, can multilaterally participate in the formulation of a security guarantee. Of course, as I always suggested, and what we are currently doing is the negotiation of trilateral economic projects. Coming first are infrastructure projects. We're talking about railway construction projects, such as the Inter-Korean Railway, which, by the way, can also be joined by China. And also the building of natural gas pipelines, as well as other kinds of energy projects. There will be a lot of opportunities for trilateral or quadrilateral cooperation. What we need now is to push forward in this direction. We're all looking forward to the outcome of the dialogue between U.S. President Donald Trump and DPRK leader Kim Jong-un. And we will try our best to contribute to the success of the meeting.